Hi, this is another creation from the Pure Lever Stop team. Enjoy. It's been a, I don't know, five, six, seven days since shooting a blog. Want to cover one really huge primary concern, uh, which is people are really confused. What is GVO? What is Pure Leverage? How do they integrate? And I'm going to, because this is an information blog, I've got Johnny behind the camera, I've got Blake Coho, so I'm going to be saying, hey, does this make sense? So that way, hopefully it makes sense to you. This is going to be a little bit of a longer blog, but hey, it's got a lot of information in it. So, GVO has been around since 2007, okay? Before that, it was a company called Kiosk out of Canada, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, GVO is a product which is primarily web hosting and our autoresponder service, okay? That's what's made us sort of popular is our web hosting from GVO. Pure Leverage is a product that includes all of our marketing tools into one marketing suite and we're paying out, as you guys know, on the product 100% commissions, right? So, product, product, opportunity, and downline. Okay, so what does that mean? So a lot of people have been saying, hey, I've been soliciting this guy uh, to join Pure Leverage. Uh, I didn't know he was a member of GVO, so he logged into his GVO members area and upgraded, and I lost the sale. Understand this. It's a product and a product in the same opportunity. Okay, does that make sense so far, Blake? Yes. Okay, so, so what do I mean by that? Well, GVO, which came around in 2007, okay, has an opportunity attached to it. So what Pure Leverage is, is just a new product suite into an existing opportunity. So understand this, this is how network marketing goes. When people cancel their account at GVO, and it will be the same at Pure Leverage because they're solely products in the same opportunity with a different compensation plan, okay? When somebody cancels their GVO account, they have to remain inactive for six months. This is standard in the home-based business opportunity before they can go and join into somebody else's downline, okay? Six months. Put yourself in that same position, okay? So you're at GVO and you've built a substantial income. Would you want your whole downline going and joining under somebody else in the same opportunity for the Pure Leverage product suite? No, absolutely not. My loyalty and my integrity stands with the people who've been here first and building our company the most. And I'm going to be quite frank about it, your tough love again, if you don't like it, then you can quit. Because my integrity is my integrity with our company, okay? So put yourself in their shoes. You know, they've built this big downline. Do you want them all of a sudden going under somebody else for the pure leverage product suite? Absolutely not. Now, I'll be, you know, I'm very transparent. A lot of people have... You know, what? how do they do to get around that? Everybody knows it in network marketing. While well, they have a brother, a sister, a wife, you know, to keep it legal, who go and join and create a second position somewhere else. Okay, that, that has happened. Uh, we don't support that, but it has happened in the industry, uh, and it's rampant industry-wide, okay? So, GVO hosting, let's call it hosting so you know it's a product, okay? And pure leverage marketing suite of tools are two separate products, just like if you were in Amway and you bought their nutritional vitamins in one spot and you bought their tie in another spot, okay? Same opportunity, it's still Amway, okay? GVO corporate is the opportunity and GVO hosting is one product, Pure Leverage is another product, building the same matrix with different compensation plans attached to them, okay? Is there anything else I can say about that, or does that make 100% sense to both you guys? Any other way I could put it? Okay, so again, if somebody's canceled in GVOs, um, they have to remain inactive for six months before they can join pure leverage underneath somebody else. So what a lot of people did is they went and reactivated their GVO account to get involved in pure leverage, thinking that they were going to end up under somebody else's downline. That's not the case. Again, guys, integrity, and you would appreciate this integrity yourself as well. So that, that's that for that. Anything else on that I should talk about? Yeah, no, that's great because Pure Leverage members will be extended the same downline integrity. Exactly, exactly. We, we, we have just as, almost as many people, that's a good point, Blake, almost as many people joining GVO every day. And they're coming in through the Pure Leverage system, 
they're buying GVO hosting because they say, hey, I love all this. I want to buy hosting. Guess who gets the integrity? You guys do. If somebody comes into pure leverage first and then they go and buy GVO, you're getting it. You're getting the integrity, okay? So it goes both ways here. So it's not one way after the other. Now, there's been a lot of people going, that's not fair. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. Guys, you know, there's millions and millions and millions of brick and mortar businesses, network marketers, and home-based business entrepreneurs who absolutely need this. 44,000 people, closer to 45,000 now, is not even 0.01% of the market. We won't hit any sort of market saturation in this for at least, at least five years, if not more, okay? So the market is wide open. And again, the integrity, like Blake said, stands on both sides. If somebody comes into your pure leverage downline and grabs GVO, they're gonna still stay in your downline, okay? And the same on the other side. People who are in GVO hosting, grab pure leverage, are gonna stay in the same integrity. People can change their sponsors if they go inactive for six months. And hopefully that explains it. Um, number two biggest thing, we finally have the imports ready from your AWeber, your GetResponse, your eye contact, your constant contact, and your MailChimp accounts, okay? We're not importing lists from any other autoresponder at this point. So what you need to do, and you're gonna see it live on your screen right now, is to do your list imports in your members area, you're gonna click on the level one marketing tools, and then you're going to go to the autoresponder section, and then you're gonna to go to the import export section, and that's where you can fill out the form to allow us, and now it's our staff that will log into your account. Why is that? Because uh, there's been some shysters out there. There's been a, uh, people that I had a lot of trust in in the past, okay, that I actually knew quite well, who said, oh, don't worry, Joel, here's my, here's my CSV. Don't worry, it came from AWeber. We uploaded it, and it created hundreds, if not thousands of spam complaints, so obviously that person was not telling the truth, and gave us some list that he bought somewhere. That's why our staff has to log into your account at AWeber, GetResponse, MailChimp, verify that it's really a list from there. We will export that list after you fill out the form and import that list for you. Anything else on that, Blake? I'd like people to thoroughly read the FAQ that's on the page, okay. as well as the import process. It completely explains the process. And there are certain things we can't do, so please don't ask us. Well, come, come on over here and tell them some of the things we can't do. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, look, we see many people that come in and they say, I have an existing um, uh, list on file, like Joel just mentioned. We can't import it. It, it. it doesn't matter. There's nothing that we can do about that. The list what do you mean? I'm just going to play yeah. devils. What do you mean by an existing list? You mean in an existing list outside of some other autoresponder? Yeah, a list that's not, that is outside an autoresponder business that's not. So again, we're only doing GetResponse, AWeber, iContact, Constant Contact, and MailChimp. That's it for now. That covers like 95% of them out there. We will look later on, not now because we are swamped, at other real autoresponder services. But anyway, keep going. Yeah, dude, we'll look at other responder. If you have a responder system that you'd like us to look at, you can sit submit a ticket. We'll review it. It may take 60 to 90 days. That's uh, We need to yeah. make sure they're safe. Yeah, 90% of our customers are AWeber customers or get response anyway. Yeah, absolutely. That's the most common. Um, the other thing we won't import, please don't ask us to go log into our account labor intensive and import a list that's less than 100, you said? Yeah, we're um, right now, any lists that are above 200, um, we'll, we'll import. Um, we're working on the manual import function where you as a customer will be able to import a list of 100 or up to yeah. 199, basically. But, it, but I mean, at that, when it initially opens, it will be a double opt-in import. Those people need to opt in again. We don't know who is importing what into the system. So yes, they do. People need to confirm they want to be on a list. It's the law. That's And by the way, you know, when this does come to fruition and you can import your small lists, we have very proprietary technology that will be able to tell pretty quickly whether this is a good list or a bad list. There are no second chances. 
You import something that's not very good and iffy, you'll never, we won't cancel your account, but you'll never be able to import anything again. Why again, guys? I hate to be so harsh on this, but understand this. The whole value proposition of pure leverage is that our autoresponder service gives as good a deliverability, if not better, than the other major autoresponders out there. Otherwise, the whole value proposition of this whole company goes down the toilet. We have to hit the inbox or forget about it. And if we are even lax for a second, then Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, Hotmail, they're not gonna talk to us very nicely. They're willing to play the game and they do play the game very, very well and they're very kind when you mail proper leads, which are, what is a proper lead? Somebody that opted into your newsletter who wants to hear from you specifically. Not, well, well, he opted into my friend's newsletter. Um, well, he asked about home-based business. No, 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 no. If they didn't specifically opt into your newsletter, it's not part of your leads list, right? Yeah, that's it. Our, our primary mandate is to have a mail system that can deliver your marketing efforts to an inbox. To an inbox. Um, our price points are a fifth or more. They're ridiculous, to be honest they with are. you. It, it's a, and I'm what a value. Plug in Joel. I'm always like, this is just too. And imagine it's this, you know. So incredibly. people will, if we don't, if we don't hit the inbox, people will go. Well, of course it's cheaper. They exactly. suck. Exactly. They suck. I'm going back to Aweber. Okay. This whole value proposition is on, you know, yes, we have our other tools like our video email, our conference software, which is rock solid, by the way. But we know that the real popularity is centered around the lead capture system and the autoresponder and the ability to hit an inbox. Yeah, that, that's the, the biggest thing that we see is the new customer, new to the Internet. Um, you've been surfing the Internet and you see a deal for a purchase list of 500,000 people for $10. Please understand that no matter how valid those businesses look, 99.999% of, of those businesses, people don't sell lists that have any value. No, so keep no. that in mind. It, it doesn't matter. You yeah. know, we don't want you to spend your money and waste it because we won't import those lists. That are big and, and Blake just had made a very good point. People won't sell something of value. Do you think I would take you as a subscriber to my list and sell that for any amount of money? You know, it would, I wouldn't even sell it for 50 million bucks. One, because I said I wouldn't, but two, so do you think getting 500,000 leads for $25, even $500, even $1,000 has any value to it except for getting you in trouble and causing spam complaints? So anyway, we've harped on that enough. Um, that's good. Anything else aside from that? No, that's it. Just uh, build your list as okay. you see in the training and... We are going to be doing a very strong swoop of the help desk again this Sunday, folks. Again, we're hiring. We're working with staffing agencies to get more and more people in-house. Uh, having this many people come in so quickly took me off guard, took Mike off guard, took our whole staff off guard. It's something that we've never experienced before. It's a good thing, but you've seen those uh, things where people grow themselves so quickly that everybody's pulling out their hair, and you sort of say, be careful what you wish for, which is the case. One thing customers could really help us out and all of their new customers by going into their help desk and any tickets that they have found an answer to already. Closing them. Go in and close that ticket. You're going to help us out. Yeah, we're, we're, we're actually going to be pulling some, some statistics on the help desk of what we call a bad customer. So in other words, you know, usually the case is 90% of your help desk tickets are caused by 3% of your client base. And we're still, you know, and people are people, I get that, but we still are getting people putting in a help desk ticket saying, help me, help me. You know, just literally things like that or the, the big one, I don't understand what I just bought. For me, guys, I have no idea, but I've never ever, ever bought anything online where I didn't have at least some understanding of what it was. That really confuses me. But we're getting a lot of that. And just know we're on top of it. Just know that it's our number one priority to give you the very best customer experience possible on the internet. We're hiring new staff. We're creating new systems. And it's new, it's new for us as well. So anyway. Uh, one more comment. Um, within the... Um you Get have, over here. You can't, nobody can sorry, hear you. <laughs> I'm not used to being on film. Um, if you please don't submit. If you submit a ticket with your issue, we're happy to resolve it. Please don't submit a second ticket. 
or go to live us. chat or post or it on the Facebook or, wall. Don't don't do it in five different places, you know? Yeah, exactly. If there's two tickets that have the same issue, what happens is our support team will take the time to respond to your first ticket and then another support member who's not aware that the, that's already been responded to takes the time to answer the same question. It, it, it just really, we want to service our customers the best we can and, and um, that's our goal and that's yeah. what we're going to okay. achieve. And, and that's, we yeah, and, and you know, this might sound a bit negative. It, it, it's not that, it's transparency, okay? We, we realize we're going through some challenges we're rectifying day by day those challenges. When we first launched, we had server load issues and bugs. Uh, we still have some bugs, but we fixed a ton of things really, really quickly. Which brings me back to the last thing is people have been asking, when is the blog coming out? Uh, I really, really need to get everything else fixed before we can launch that. And I, and I realize that it's part of the package that we promised. We intend on delivering on that package. But just remember this, at $24.95 per month, the value proposition of just the autoresponder alone is worth its weight in gold. You're still getting the video email service, the conference software, the coaching, the recorded calls. That's like worth hundreds of dollars per month, literally, okay? So we'll get to the blog. It's just that what it's going to do is the minute we release the blog, yes, no matter how much you test it, there's going to be some bugs. And there's going to be an influx of thousands and thousands of help desk tickets of people saying, I've never done a blog before. How do I write blogs? How do I use this blog? How do I do that? And then we're just going to kick ourselves in the rear end and be back at square one. So that's why we just want to make excellent, excellent customer service for you and an ex excellent end user uh, experience before we continue to move on. So anyway, that's it for now, folks. Sorry for the long blog. Uh, hopefully this you understand and stuff, and we'll see you again soon. You're doing a rocking job. And we will see you on the next live webinar. Bye for now. Great information. Now it's time for you to take action. Click the link below, leave your name and email, and start earning 100% commissions.